Good evening. It is a, it's a joy to welcome so many friends and so many supporters of the mission of Refugees International to advocate for life-saving assistance and protection and to promote solutions for the 70 million refugees and others forcibly displaced from their homes due to persecution and conflict, and for the millions more who are displaced due to natural disasters exacerbated by the, the impact of climate change. We are, we're so grateful for your support at this particular moment in history, in which the world is experiencing record levels of displacement and the closing of asylum space, challenges that are made far more difficult by the demonization and the vilification of refugees by leaders here and abroad. But, but these challenges, they only underscore the critical importance of perseverance. Because progress is possible, and progress is reflected in so many ways that we celebrate tonight. The unequivocal congressional support for generous levels of humanitarian aid. The willingness of people in a Montana city with an African-American population of less than 1%, a willingness to elect as its mayor a former Liberian refugee. The ability of an organization of Puerto Rican women to seize the opportunity to enhance the well-being of their communities in the face of government inaction. The acceptance by most of the governments of the world of a rights-based compact on migration spearheaded by one of our honorees tonight. The profound commitments to higher education of Syrian refugee students led by two of our other awardees and the efforts of governments, Uganda, Jordan, Ethiopia, among many others, to provide meaningful rights to refugees who will not soon return home. So we at Refugees International, we're deeply invested in these kinds of solutions, and your support enables us to sustain the critical work that we do to help create a brighter future for millions of people around the world. 